Hey everyone, thought it was time to give you an update on the dozer progress. Managed to get some work done to it today after being gone for the last week, helping friends and family. Uh, I've got the blade working now. So, as you may know, the directional control, steering, and forward reverse is on this stick. And on this stick will is the blade. I gave myself my own little fancy limiter for now, but anyways, here is the Fregelli actuator running the blade. So these slotted links, this is all original from the model when I first got it, when it was just the cheap toy version. I was losing too much blade down because of the rod I have running through those two links was able to slide up so came up with a makeshift way of being able to keep it working the way I want and it's got enough torque I did take this out in the back and see what it's got for lift power and it will pick up the blade with dirt on it and as you push the one problem I did have was in my last video I showed how the levelness of the dozer everything was very heavy to the back end and I really needed to get some weight on the front so just working with what I got around the house I'm scrounging around trying to figure out what I can use and suddenly remembered that I had this I had grabbed from work an old <clears throat> replaced pilot pump vein rotor uh, it's a vein style pump rotor for a underground scoop. I thought it would work good as a load or something to put on the flatbed, but as I'm looking around for something heavy, I grabbed this and went, you know, this thing's got some serious weight to it. It's some good steel. So that's part of my front ballast. And my other idea, I was thinking what can I use for more weight that's heavy or dense, you know, just working with what's around the house. And I suddenly, as I was working, looking for stuff, I moved a package of uh, brad nails. And I went, oh, geez, these things are pretty heavy. I know there was quite a few in the stack. They all come glued like this. Well, I ended up just breaking them up to the size that I could fit into these spots, taped them up, made myself some decent weights on each side of the rotor and also underneath this servo there is a big stack about two inches thick that runs a full length in here. So I've added quite a bit of nose weight to it. I'm thinking this should be enough to keep that front end down a little more uh, otherwise my only other option would be to lower the rear drives and that is just a whole lot of rework to get that to, to fit um, so I may have some limited blade down when it comes to a real push but I definitely got it working now Oh yeah, she's got some power. So that's her, getting close to buttoning her up, take her for another test with the weight, and if all goes well, I'll make a little push video. Thanks for watching.